On the showcase this week, we look at how AI is disrupting the workplace. So I am here with the head of digital marketing at Next Media, Mr. Clifford Mugerua. Clifford, talk to us about AI and how it's really disrupting the way that we work. Well, I think right now, by this time, almost everyone has heard of AI. Almost everyone has tried to use a form of AI and I think almost everyone might even add AI to their name. So right now I'm cliff.ai. <laughs> but yes, it's disrupting the industry in a really crazy way. Mm -hmm. Things are moving really quickly and that's one of the reasons why we can't ignore it anymore. Yeah. So what are the top AIs you say are really, really helpful in the workplace? Well, it depends on the kind of work that you do. Yeah. So as we discuss AI, we have to think about w whichever industry it affects. And in this case, it's all of them. Mm. For us to sit here in office, everyone here has a chat GPT account. Some of us even pay for it at yeah. this point. Yeah, you're guilty. I see yeah, you. You're guilty. guilty. <laughs> but yes, at this point, everyone is using ChatGPT and then everything else that follows, depending on their needs. For research, some people are using BARD, which is now has rebranded to Gemini. Mm -hmm. Others are using tools to help them. Mm -hmm. And then the thing that I love the most about AI is how all the companies that existed before are now implementing it in their already existing softwares. Right. So if you were using Grammarly before, now you have AI features in Grammarly. If you're using Photoshop before, now you have AI features in your Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful time to be alive. So for those of us who work in corporate, what uh -huh. would you say is helpful? I know you're going to mention Gamma. I already know it <laughs> for presentations. <laughs> for those who do not know what Gamma is, uh, <laughs> yes, I meant to mention Gamma. For people who work in corporate, there are a few things you need. You need a language processing model. Uh, in this case, it's text-based AI, uh, where ChatGPT falls. Gamma.ai is one of those that fall there. I love it very much. I use the free account until I finished all my tokens. And what it helps you do is it initially helps you create presentations very quickly from prompts mm -hmm. that you've put in. So your prompting still has to be good, the same way it has to be good with ChatGPT. Mm. So that said, I use Gamma to create presentations within five minutes. So I have my thoughts, I write them down like five, six sentences, mm. put it in there and keep correcting until we get something good and beautiful. It picks images out off the internet, so that's good too. Right, and I think you mentioned something about the prompting, because a lot of people can feel like, oh my gosh, all this AI doesn't work, but sometimes the work, a poor workman blames his tools. Yes. It's just knowing how to prompt AI to give you the things that you want. And it's not even just like things like Grammarly, even with creatives, things like Mid Journey can help a lot. Things like Autopod for those people who have podcasts, it literally chops things up for you, even the, with the different camera angles, it's yeah, incredible to see. It is incredible. Yeah. One of the things I've enjoyed the most is what AI means to low resource places. Mm. So Africa as a continent, would benefit more from AI than Europe as a continent, for example, and this is why. Mm. For most countries, for most people, the things that they were not able to get because they did not have the resources to either pay for them or rent out the machines, they can now get due to the AI features. Mm. From if you could not afford a photo shoot for a model, mm. you can design one in AI. So you will have a visual for your shop. Mm. That means that you can start marketing your small business as early as now. All you yeah. need is to have your free pick that mm -hmm. gives you 12 credits of AI images every day mm -hmm. on a free account. And if you pay, and, and it's $11 per month, you can have models for artwork for the next year. Mm. If you look at things like research, and you don't have the money for all these books, but you have access to Gemini, even you as a student, you can sit down and do a whole paper and a whole thesis with actual facts and references. And then paraphrase with Cobot. Uh, yes. Guys, do not put out your chat GPT or BARD essays. Always paraphrase. Paraphrase, please, speaking to you. <laughs> but yes, as we have adopted more and more use of AI, it also means that we have to now change our standards. It means that we have to change the way we look at things. For example, right now, if you post content on TikTok, you have to mark that it's AI generated, yeah. you know, because we have to distinguish between creative and non-creative. There was a time where people were discussing if we should credit AI on the articles it helped us write. Mm -hmm. That discussion is still going on, mm -hmm. but in the meantime, what you can do as a creative, what you can do as a small business owner is you can always 
find the processes that are the repetitive tasks mm. and use AI to fix those processes. Mm. For example, research, repetitive. Things like uh, designing artwork, repetitive. Get those out of the way mm -hmm. because your creative is still needed but you just have to remove those repetitive tasks out of the way and then you find the AI that does that for you. Right, so it's really making your job easier as opposed to taking your job away. True. Although in some cases... If it takes your job away, it means you didn't fully understand your job. And I saw somewhere that it's important to become a master of AI as opposed to just not understanding it. Because once you understand it, you become invaluable to the place that you work at. But also the thing with AI is it's moving so quickly that uh, legal, and legal parameters have to play catch up. So what do you have to say to things like that? For instance, Sora is about to come out. Yeah. We got a little taste of Sora, the video prompting beautiful. AI. It's absolutely beautiful. But the fact is the CTO even failed to mention how they get the content to show such videos. Do you know what I mean? So what would you say to something like that? Well, technology has always been 30 years ahead of the law. Mm. Whichever country, whichever no matter how advanced the country is, like for example the United States, mm. when Facebook came out and did what it did, mm. it was 30 years ahead of legislation right. and they had to create laws to help understand and mitigate all the effects that come out of the advanced technology. In this case, AI is bound to shake up the whole world, not just the states, not it's just already Europe. Shaking it up. We're, we're already shaking mm. where we are. We're shaking. And, and we worry every time we're heading into an election season. Mm. For example, with Sora, the videos are so lifelike and so real, so real that by the time we get to the elections in 2026, mm. I wonder what videos will be surfacing online if I can subscribe and pay for Sora right. and prompt it very well. Right. So it's, it's, it's cause for concern. Mm. So I always say move with caution, but do not be afraid to try. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid to embrace the new tech. But it's really scary as well. It's, you mentioned elections, and actually recently there were some AI deepfakes that came out to show basically black supporters for Donald Trump. Yeah. It's just, it's a dangerous man. It's a dangerous one. It it's is a dangerous slope. time to be alive, but that means that there is also an opportunity. Mm -hmm. There's an opportunity for people to now become more specialized in the field of identifying between analyzing this. So this means that with this, we have to put on new skill sets of which yeah. AI will not do for you. Exactly. So you will not use AI to examine AI. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to have people who will become video forensics experts to the level that they'll have to help us discern what the true speech of, let's say, a presidential candidate is versus what the fake speech is. Right. And uh, that means we're going to be more data-driven and that means that we're going to be more aware and open. So I'm looking forward to this new world that AI has forced us into. I love it, I love it. Thank you, Clifford.